I'm Adil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest and posting questions. Now here is a request from one of our subscribers who want to know how to find square root of uh, five digit numbers. So I've taken up an example here. We'll find square root of 43251. Um, let's see how to do it. So to find square root of any number, we follow a very special division method. Uh, it is kind of like this. Uh, process is similar to division. 43251 is the number. We'll try to find to one decimal place. First step is to group the numbers into groups of twos. Grouping is done from the decimal left and right side. So towards the left side, we can make uh, two groups of twos. One number is left. On the right side, we have one group of zeros. Since we want to make accurate estimate up to one decimal place. Now one number the left, which is the number which is left is four. Let us see by which number we can divide. When we are doing square root in division method, we'll write the same number as a divisor and as a quotient. So two times two is four. So I could begin with two. So we write two and two. Two times two is four. Now we'll take away four from four, getting zero. Bring down the next set of numbers, two together, right? This 32. Now in the next step, we are going to again divide, but this time by a different number. The number which is placed is twice the quotient. So this number is twice the quotient. Let me write here. New divisor. is twice the quotient. So in our case, quotient is 2, divisor is going to be 4. And now we have to introduce a number here. And these two numbers have to be exactly same. What could go here and there, both the places? If I write 1, I get 41, which is greater than 32. So I have no option other than placing a zero. Placing zero gives me zero here. So the remainder is now 32. Bring down the next set, which is 51. And again, perform this special division. So what we should write here as a divisor, twice the quotient. Since quotient is 20, twice 20 is 40. And we have to introduce a number now next to 40. The same number will be part of your quotient. What could that be? Now, let's estimate. It could be, if I take 8 here, 8 times 8 is 64. But we have 51 here. So 8 cannot work. So we'll try out 7. So let's put 7. Multiply 7 by 407. 7 times 7 is 49. And 7 times 4 is 28. Now we will take away 2849 from 3251. Borrow from 5, you get 11. You get 2 here, 0 there. And 12 take away 8 is 4. So we get 402. And now we are going to bring down the next number, which is 00. zero. Now this number comes after a decimal place. So we are going to put a decimal here, right? And what should be the divisor? Well, the divisor has to be twice the quotient. So which is going to be 4, 1, 4, right? Now we have to look for a number which should be placed in the divisor and as a part of quotient. That could be a big number. Let's try 9. 9 times 4 is 36. That should be good enough. So 9 can work. 9 times 9 is 81. We get 1 and 8. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 8 is 44. 4. 9 plus 1. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4 is 13. 3 and 1. So 36 and 1 is 37. Right. So we'll 
end the process here. So we got this square root of the number which was 43251 as equal to 207.9. Correct? You can always continue to the second decimal place by adding two zeros here and writing the divisor as twice the quotient. And that way you can go on and get a very accurate result by this special division process. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.